Now, something we haven't focused on much is that there's only 42 days to go until the 2022 Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. They're going to occur across 11 days, 17 sports, and there are 72 nations and territories joining in, and it's going to be one hell of a special event, of course. For a preview, I'm joined by the Commonwealth and Olympic gold medalist, Patria Thomas. She's the Australian team's chef de mission. Thanks for joining us, Patria. Uh, must be so excited about the Games, especially after a couple of years of COVID disruptions. Yeah, thanks very much for having me, Chris. Yeah, it's uh, very exciting that the Games are only 42 days away and, um, you know, everyone, you know, is really looking forward to it in the in the team and I know the athletes uh, have been preparing. Um, you know, they've been really focused and, and really looking forward to the Games and it'll be fantastic. It'll be the first major multi-sport event um, uh, with crowds um, in, you know, over two years. So it's going to be very exciting. Yeah, it was great that the Olympics have happened after the COVID delay, but of course, without the crowds, uh, this is going to be crowds back. Uh, do we have a big team and have they been disrupted a lot in their training and preparations because of COVID travel restrictions? Oh, look, I think COVID's still a factor, obviously, and it's certainly disrupting uh, just the the average person's life still, I think, at the moment. But um, in general, the, the world of sports uh, sort of recommenced and... And, um, you know, there's uh, athletes travelling all over the world, um, you know, in, in the last few months attending competitions and, and various events. So it's well and truly back on. Um, so hopefully uh, none of our athletes have been too disrupted in their preparations. But, um, you know, they've, they've been working really hard. And I know they're really excited to, to be able to go to Birmingham and, and represent their country. Tell us about the difference between Commonwealth Games and Olympic Games as an athlete because you're perfectly placed to, to, to tell us about that because in the Olympics, I suppose, we're a well-respected middle power that sort of punches above its weight. But surely when we turn up at the Commonwealth Games, we're seen as one of the big guns, the big teams, and uh, all the others are out to get us. Yeah, absolutely. We, we certainly do have a target on our back when it comes to performances at the, the Commonwealth Games. Uh, uh, we've, you know, we've won many editions of the Commonwealth Games, or we've topped the medal tally um, over the years, and and we had a very strong performance on the Gold Coast. So, our target going into Birmingham is certainly to retain that number one spot. Um, but look, yeah, it is a whole. The Commonwealth Games has a whole different feeling about it than and than the Olympic Games, and it, it is known as the friendly games, and and um, it just has a whole different atmosphere as, as an athlete um, attending. And um, I think, you know, that's one of the things I love about it is it's, 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 it's not the Olympics. It's never tried to be the Olympics, but it's still a, a really, really important event um, for our athletes. And uh, any time, you know, as an athlete, you get the opportunity to represent your country um, is, is amazing. Well, we'll be watching all the Aussies, of course, across all the sports, but you must have a special focus on swimming. Are we going to dominate in the pool? Oh, look, uh, you know, uh, all the sports are important, e equally important, um, you know, on our on our Commonwealth Games teams. But uh, obviously, being a swimmer myself uh, in the past, um, you know, I think, uh, you know, and watching how well the team did in Tokyo in both the Olympics and Paralympics, um, I think, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll put another a strong showing forward in Birmingham um, and, and dominate the pool. So it's, it's always great, um, you know, at a Commonwealth Games when the swim team gets off to a, a, the team off to a great start and uh, that helps build momentum. So, um, you know, I'm, you know, fingers crossed that that happens again this time. Let's hope that's the case and uh, topping the medal list again would be great but uh, we just want a successful games and a great showing by the Aussies. I've got to ask you while I've got you there Patria, especially in light of recent controversies about transgender athletes and Leah Thomas in the US. Uh, are you happy, is the Australian team happy with the way Commonwealth Games and Olympic authorities so far are dealing with those difficult issues? Look, as you say, they are very difficult issues and uh, I don't think, um, you know, anyone uh, really, I suppose, yet comprehends the, f the full impact that these types of issues can have on people. Um, and look, there's no doubt a lot of, a lot of work to do um, for, for the major, you know, the, the sporting codes around the world and, and the major events. Um, but look, it hasn't been an issue um, to date, um, you know, that, that's uh, had a lot of, I suppose, attention focused on us for, on it for the Commonwealth Games. So, I mean, at this stage, um, you know, we, we just abide by the rules that are set and, and that's all we can do at this stage.
Well, thanks for joining us, Patria. I appreciate it and good luck in Birmingham. Thank you very much for having me. It's going to be great, isn't it? Uh, Aussies uh, winning gold. Actually, some people in the stands cheering or whatever. There'll be plenty of Aussies in Birmingham, no doubt, uh, amongst the crowd. It should be fantastic.